Pushed out front, coming off of turn four. When we get to the start-finish line, we will complete lap 20 today. Rick and behind you here, Rick and, and now we have a you, crash. Rick Ricky Stenhouse you, Jr. involved, Tony Stewart around. And that's Dale Earnhardt Jr. through the infield grass. Carl oh, Edwards has some damage. Kenseth just about had it missed, and looks like he ran into the 88. Harvick, wow, Johnson, a lot of good Kyle race Larson. Cars. I mean, a lot of good race cars. Guys in the points. Wow. Three consecutive top five finishes at Daytona. The six-time champion, Jimmy Johnson, has damage here. Marcus Ambrose. Uh, Spawn obviously drove through the grass over to the pit road. Well, and the grass is not the place you want to be today after all the rain that we've had. We're not. We're seeing it for the first time. It, oh, it looks like uh, Stenhouse, Stenhouse got a little bit squirrely. Stewart came down or came up and and got into uh, Jeff Gordon there. Looks we, like Stewart was just trying to avoid the 17. Stenhouse, as he gets squirrely, comes down into to Tony a little bit. You see Stenhouse up next to the wall, sideways, comes down across, taps Stewart. Oh. Yeah, no, Jeff was trying yeah. to avoid this uh, Jeff 17 was trying car to and got this. into uh, Tony Stewart. Yeah, got in the right rear of Tony. Yeah. yeah. Trevor yeah. Bain, who won the 2011 Daytona 500, driving for the Wood Brothers, and that 21 car got turned around. And Danica may have gotten a little bit of nose damage, but she did a heck of a job getting through and not getting caught and, up. And you watch Tony here. I, you know, I don't, he didn't move much, man. He just hung right. He, I mean, he didn't move at all. No. Um, and then he got he got hooked in the right rear into Stewart uh, into uh, Ricky Stenhouse, but uh, Tony was doing what he needed yeah. to do right there. He yeah. would have gotten by that without any problem if he didn't get if he wouldn't have gotten tagged by by Jeff. Yeah, Tony. It, it didn't appear that Tony ever turned the steering wheel, and as as he got loose, he came over, but he never even tapped Tony. It was the 24 car of Jeff Gordon trying, thinking something was, was going to happen, happen and, duck, and going yeah. ahead and anticipating the move yeah. and getting into the to the right rear quarter panel of Tony. Talk about the drivers looking for their first win of the year. Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Just a bit in that inside line, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Look at the hands on AJ Albany. Up in the air goes the 42 of Kyle Larson. Caution comes out. And another contact, Matt Kenseth hooks. The one of Jamie McMurray flying down pit road. Kyle Larson up in the air, right in front of the grandstands. See him removing the steering wheel. A lot of damage to Kurt Busch's 41. Yeah, we're done. Big disappointment. Daytona 500 winner, hoping to come back and defend. Take a look. This is what happened to the 42. How did he get back on the ground without flipping? See right here, he gets down low. The 17 of Ricky Stenhouse tries to fill the upper lane. The 42 tries to block. And as you said, the 42 was destined to go airborne. The roof flaps deployed, setting the 42 back on the, on the ground. And as that happened, the 41 of Kurt Busch crossed the travel, took a hard, hard hit. This is another great a action shot right here. Watch this 42. Hits the wall, then gets pushed into the air by the 17. You see the roof flap open. The car sets back on the ground. The 21 of Blaine, he's in the brakes, just nothing you can do. Remember, Matt Kenseth, Casey Kane, it got shuffled back. They got behind this wreck. Matt Kenseth got, did not get through it. Casey Kane did. The 41 of Kurt Busch also came back across the racetrack. He hit it very hard into the safer barrier. If you've ever been on a multi-ton airliner and taken off, those planes take off at 170 miles an hour. We're riding along at over 190 with the 42. But he went down there, got a good shot from the two, keeps the lead. How about riding right in the middle now? Just waiting for whichever oh, line. Huge on. push. And around oh. goes a two. Too big of a push. He caught the 41. The big one. Logano's caught up in it. Oh, my God. Denny Hamlin. Austin Dillon has damage. Daniel Suarez trying to avoid. Ty Dillon sliding in.
A wreck 22 of Joey oh, Logano sitting on the apron. A wreck two. All the Penske cars right there. The, the, the one organization that everybody came here thinking they had the best shot to win. All three of their cars wiped out in this accident. Ryan Blaney in the 12 sitting there in the grass. You saw the two of Brad Keselowski. A lot of damage to the nine of Chase Elliott. So many good cars. This hat, this wreck happened in the front of the field. This is what they taught us all about. Took out some contenders, and now this really is an opportunity race for somebody sitting out at 16, sitting out at top 16. Denny Hamlin with big damage. Oh, uh, just up. Ricky. Ricky was pushing him and also turning down the racetrack, and that was enough to turn the two car around. It was. It's just so much happening right there, and they were coming up on Williams so fast that I believe Brad was sort of th throttling down a little bit because he he was going to hit run to the back of, of the 24. Can you see the 24 blocking here? So Brad's probably throttling down a little bit, and the, you know Stenhouse coming across the nose. Yeah, so right here the 17. Watch the 17 the when he gets into the rear bumper, right there, hits him in the right rear, and that's what sends him. He, we talked about that earlier. That's where you want to bump draft somebody. You want to bump them in the right rear. But when you do that and the speed's wrong and it's misaligned and also he's turning left, then that literally just shoves the left rear bumper to the inside of the car and it shot, shoots the nose straight to the wall. And we've seen this, this generation of car, these guys, you know, their bumpers don't line up all that great. We don't never see these guys lock bumpers like they used to or like we see in the Xfinity series. So anytime they'd make a push, 18's on his quarter panel. He's going to side draft him right here in three and four. Oh, oh my goodness. Sideways the 18 hard into the wall. Around goes the 24 as well. William Byron sliding all the way to the inside wall. Jamie McMurray caught up as well. Kyle Larson avoiding the 18. He went way down on the apron. Guys, I'm afraid to say it, but I think Stenhouse was Involved in this one as well. I do too. Can't wait to see the replay so we can really dissect how this all started. I did not see these guys having an accident right there. Denny Hamlin, before this race started yesterday, he said he expected to see a wreck fest. Well, Denny Hamlin, you were right. As Denny is probably sitting in his bus right now watching this race. Take a look at the roof cam of the 17. So he gets into the quarter panel, 18. 18's trying to get down there in side draft, and the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse is, is not following the 24, not following his line exactly. He's also trying to side draft. So Ricky's trying to side draft 18. 18's coming down to side draft to 24. Just uh, <laughs> a couple bad decisions there. Trying to, you know, you got to be aggressive on the side draft, and that's what happens sometimes when there's three or four guys trying to do the same thing. So what the 17's trying to do right there is he's trying to get as close to the left rear quarter panel of the 18 to slow him down, and he gets into him. You know, he came up the racetrack so aggressively, I almost wonder if he got tight or something. Like, Maybe. I, you know, he can see that the 18 is on is right next to William Byron. He's, the 18 can't go any lower. Watch, watch what happens right here. So see how close the 18 and the 24 are right here. 18, he's not going to go any lower. The 17's up the racetrack and gets into the 18. Just makes me wonder if Ricky Stenhouse Jr. didn't lose the front of the car and get up the racetrack and get into the side of him in trying to side draft and you're close to somebody, if your car gets tight and it moves two feet, now you're yep. into the left for the quarter panel and causing a wreck. We have saw these guys have bounces. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be hard. I, it's going to be hard for these guys to hang on to this draft. They're, they're going by pretty fast, and it's it's also creating a lot of turbulence for this draft of cars. And you can see, oh! oh a lot of sparks flying. The 42 goes around, and collects the, the 17. Larson around and got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, as he was going. Here, Blue tire. Yeah, it's a four. The 48 also, we mentioned you can't make a mistake. The 48 was going to have to come to pit road because they pitted outside the box. Steve, is that a big break for them that the caution comes out? Man, sometimes you just have to be lucky. This is a big, big save for the 48. As you mentioned, that penalty was going to hurt them. The now he'll be able to uh, serve that penalty under yellow, which will be a little bit better. It's still 
right oh, there. He's got See? A flat tire. Yeah, he had a problem. It just spun all by himself. I saw sparks flying from the car. Yeah, I didn't right think rear tire. Ryan, yeah. The right rear tire come apart. I didn't think Ryan Newman made contact. It's just he has a problem. Right rear tire, and around he goes. Ten house, nothing he could do. Decisions, though, guys. Decisions. Remember the 17. Would he have been at the back of that pack? Would he have even been in that position if they would have pitted earlier with the other leaders? So this, the sixth caution to slow the pace here at Daytona as we go NASCAR nonstop. You made a great point. If you make the move too early, then you drag everybody back to you. You drag that back. Uh -oh. Caution, there it is. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. around. The tire finally goes down. He's down in the grass, you're fine. Nothing else coming. Tom Menard races down pit road because he wanted to avoid any of the problems. This is great for Jimmy Johnson. He was the car that was scored one lap down, the highest scored one lap down car, and so he Go will get his lap now. back. Go straight to the track. He's got the left rear tires going down. He knows it. Look at it shred that car apart. Look at all that crush panels fall flat out of that thing. Winner of stage one, winner of stage two. We called him a gladiator earlier. Look at him. Watch, Watch this. It. Look at his hands. Trying to hang on to this thing. Look at all the stuff flying around the cockpit. He's looking now. around. Still got four or five coming at you. To see which he's way he's which. See all those flames down below on the left side of him. That's all just a tire blowing apart. Taking out metal, aluminum, everything that's down there. Sending the message to his own corporate teammate, Kevin Harvick, on the right-hand side a moment ago. I'm not oh, lifting today. 17, Stenhouse Jr. was in front of the one of Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch didn't lift, and around went Stenhouse. Into the grass he goes, caution comes out. Yeah, it's a good thing he went through that grass backwards. That was a Going through it backwards really helped save the front of that car. As wet as it is, as much rain as we've had, if he could not stay, you, know, you see the hood damage, but Good thing it back through there. The 17 car at the top trying to block the one here. Kurt Busch has got a huge run coming down the racetrack. Then he gets a little tight right there. Kurt says, not today. I'm not going to lift. He didn't. Around goes the 17 of Stenhouse Jr. And the caution comes out.